Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how we can read and write messages using Azure Queue Storage. Before we get started and create Azure Queue Storage, let's understand what is Azure Queue Storage. Azure Queue Storage is a service for storing large number of messages. You can access messages from anywhere in the world via authenticated call using HTTP or HTTPS. Let's take a look on a queue storage concept. Azure queue storage contain the following component. The first component is the URL format. Queues are addressable using the following URL format, which is HTTPS colon slash slash storage account. That's the Azure storage account dot queue dot core dot windows dot net slash queue and this is the queue name second component is the storage account all the access to the azure storage is done through the storage account the third component is a queue a queue contain a set of messages the queue name must be in all lowercase and the fourth component is the message a message can be in any format but there's a limitation that the message can be up to 64 kb as you see in this figure below we have one account which is our storage account one storage account can have a multiple queues in it and each queue can have a different set of messages now let's get started and create a storage queue and also start sending and receiving messages through the code to create a Azure storage queue you have to first log into the portal.azure.com and first you have to create a storage account to create the storage account click on Azure storage account or you can also find it here under the services click storage account click on create here you have to select your Azure subscription and a resource group for this video i'm going to create a new resource group now i have to put storage account name Select the region, selecting Central America. And I wanted to keep it the performance and other setting default. Now click on create. Now the storage account is created. Click on go to resources. Once the storage account is created, click on queues to create the storage queues. Click on add queue and give the queue name. Now we have created the storage account as well as we have also created the queue. As we have created the Azure storage account and a queue, it's time to send and receive the messages using the Azure storage queue. To send a message, we are going to create a REST API, which is acting as a sender application, which sends the message to the queue. And to read the message from the queue, we are going to create a background service which is responsible for reading the messages from the Azure storage queue. So let's get started. First, I will start with the REST API 
which is going to send a message to the Azure storage queue that we just created. To create the REST API, I'm going to use the template that has come along with the Visual Studio 2022. For that, I'm going to select the REST API template. Target framework is auto. Give the project name. Give the project name. And hit the create so this template come with the default controller which is the weather forecast controller if i see this controller i can see there's a method get which simply send the response of a model weather forecast so let's try to run this application to make sure that this is working I can see the swagger and in the swagger there's a get method if I execute this get method I can see the response so the application that we have created or the Visual Studio template that we are using is working now we are going to create a post method which basically sends the data to the Azure storage queue that we just created. So let's get started with creating the post method. Let's write some code to create the post method. In this post method, we are accepting weather forecast model as a body parameter. Now, this post method is responsible for sending a message to the storage queue that we have created. To send the message to the storage queue, we need to download the NuGet package type. Azure Store, Azure dot storage dot queue. This will give us the functions that is required to send a message to the queue. Select the package, click on add package. Accept. Package is now successfully added. First, we'll add the reference using azure.storage.queues and now we are going to write a code to push the weather forecast message to the storage queue If you see, this queue client will accept two parameter, which is the connection string and the queue name. So how we can get the connection string? For that, navigate to the portal.azure.com, select the storage account, select the storage account that we have created. We have created ng YouTube demo and here, Go to the access keys 
and click on show button this is the connection string that we need to pass copy the connection string let's create a variable to the string Paste the connection string, create another variable called QName. Now, the QName that we have is okay, here to demo. to first pass the connection string and then now let's serialize the weather forecast object The reference dot CLIs. Send message, I think, and the message that is going to be is the weather data that is going to be sent via the REST API. Let's build the solution. Now the build is success. I'll put the breakpoint here. Here I can see the weather forecast post method. I have a request body of type weather forecast so if i go i see date temperature summary these are the three value that we are going to send in the summary in the temperature let's modify to value 100 and we'll give the summary this is the hot day a have ever seen in Milwaukee. Now let's execute this. Our post method is being called. 
the connection has been established and if I see the message is being sent successfully so if I go back to my queue storage and refresh I can see the message text is the text that we send in this video we have seen how to create the Azure queue storage and how to send the message to the queue in the next video, I will demonstrate how to read the message from the queue using the background service and Azure function. If you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel. This will help me to grow my channel and motivate to keep creating these videos. Thank you. Bye.